In this episode, let's look at a much more professional quality softbox kit you can use for talking head and interview style video. And in this case, it's gonna be the Lowell Reefa EX system. So check this out. We've looked at much more affordable options for getting started with video lighting. In this case, let's look at what the pro kits offer above and beyond the sort of do-it-yourself or really inexpensive hardware store type setups. Now, first thing, the Lowell Reefa system actually is made for tungsten lighting. So it has a tungsten bulb that it comes with, but you can also swap that head out and put fluorescent bulbs in there as well. The thing that's, so that's what's really unique about this. And we looked in our last episode about uh, the difference between tungsten lighting, fluorescent lighting, and LED lighting, and what we found for the most part is that tungsten lighting produces much better quality color. However, there are some downsides with tungsten, as we all know. It uses a ton of power. Just as I've been recording here, I've actually tripped the circuit a few times, and I'm really just using two lights. I'm using a 750 watt key light right here, and then I also have a 650 watt light that I'm using farther back as a sort of kicker or rim. So that's a lot of wattage, and all that wattage can be tricky to power, especially if you're on location. If you're in a place where you know the, you know, you know the house and you've used it before, it's not a big deal. If you're in a new location and you're not quite sure what their uh, electrical um, capacity is, you may have some trouble in tripping the circuits because it's you've just over overloaded it in terms of pulling too much wattage. So in any case, that's one of the big downsides. But again, color, power, it's, it's kind of a trade-off, just like everything else. Now, one thing that's really cool about this system is that you can also add on to it fluorescent heads, so you can actually pop off the head that holds the, floor, the tungsten bulb and put on a head that will handle either one, three, or five fluorescent bulbs, and that gives you a lot more flexibility. Now, again, these aren't inexpensive. There's not anything like what we've looked at before. They're not like the ePhoto kit that we have, which was three soft boxes for 200 bucks. Uh, this is much more expensive. So you're looking at, once you've really outfitted a single light, you can be looking at several hundreds of dollars. So, but it also gives you some other things. In addition to that flexibility, being able to shoot tungsten and fluorescent, you also get a much more robust build quality. And by that, I mean, first of all, they had to build the softbox to be very robust because it can handle the heat that's generated by tungsten bulbs. So that's the first thing. Um, but they've also made it so it's very, very quick and easy to set up and take down. We'll take a look at that in just a second. And uh, just the build quality over time seems like it will stand up to a lot more uh, abuse on the road, if you will. Softbox itself is relatively small. It's 25 inch by 25 inch, and that's about uh, 64 centimeters by 64 centimeters. You can get a larger one that actually will also take larger wattage bulbs. It'll go up to 1,000 watts. And that one is uh, measures in at 32 inches square, and that's about uh, 81 centimeters square. Size-wise, that's just about perfect for interview or talking head type of lighting. It's just enough. Um, it's not probably enough for two people unless you get the larger box, but then you have the awkward question of where do you put the single box. You probably really need two lights at least if you're gonna be interviewing, you have two people on the actual frame at a time. But nevertheless, great for talking head and interview and let's take a closer look. So let's just open the case here. Um, this is actually a case that I rent, or a, a kit that I rented from a local camera and, and uh, film rental house. And uh, you don't have to buy it in the kit. The kit comes with a hard case with the light itself, uh, with a light stand. You, you can get just the light, but let's just open this up so you can see what this is all about. And this is it's a pretty tough case, pretty hard plastic with a foam lining here and a nice shoulder strap. Then inside the case here, we've got the power cable with a, with a switch here. We have the front diffusion panel, which we'll come back to as we set this up. Um, the rental place actually put an extra bulb in there. So this is the 750 watt bulb. And again, as I mentioned, there are a few different sizes of these, of the Rifa kits. This is the second to largest. The larger one's 1,000 watts, is 750 watts. And there are a couple smaller ones below it. I think the 750 and or 1,000 are kind of sweet spots for uh, using as key lights, but in any case. So the light itself is inside this nice, uh, pretty heavy nylon bag here. And then there's also uh, this light stand. This light stand's actually pretty interesting. Um, instead of a tubular design, like most of the less expensive light stands, this is solid metal. 
and uh, really nicely built. Let's take a look at the light itself. It's, again, one of the, the biggest advantages of this kit is that it's really nice and portable and easy to set up. So this is what the light looks like when you pull it right out of the bag. You've got this knob. Here's the mount that goes on the light stand. Again, very, very solid machined metal. Really impressed with that and the mount that it comes with is, is great as well. Let's let's go ahead and set it up. All right, first we just uh, first we just get this mounted up here. Nice uh, again, nice quality knob, nice quality mount, solid metal. Definitely a huge step up from those e photos that I've been using. There you can also this is one of those nice handles that you can adjust it so that it's out of the way. And very good. What we do next is the velcro now you never want to touch the the bulb itself with your bare hands but it has this uh, cage in it so you don't have to and then what we do is we just make sure we got this lined up and this thing's just sort of there we go to get that in, you just lock it down. Another knob here, and that's what you get. So the bulb is in this little cage here. Um, highly, it's a heat resistant uh, softbox itself, so you don't have to worry about this. This gets extraordinarily hot, but um, that's not a problem. This is designed for that. And then, of course, on the back side here, we've got this this sort of rod that, that sticks out um, that collapses back in when you break it down. But it's a nice compact design. You can fit into relatively small places and uh, works nicely. Then of course you just connect the larger cable, which I believe is a 16 foot cable up to this, a power cable. And then putting the front diffusers on is pretty straightforward. Again, you've got these four rods that kind of stick out here at the ends. You've got a little grommet on here and you slide these guys on. And there's the front diffuser. Now, one thing that's cool about this, you can use the tungsten bulb, which is the main bulb or kind of the main design for this, but you can also use compact fluorescent. It has this little detachable head here. So all I have to do is push and twist, and that comes off. And in this case, I've got this uh, three head fluorescent adapter, and that just goes right back on pretty much. I think I've got it the wrong way. Turn it this way, just like that. And each of these sockets are switched. Got to switch. Unfortunately, the switches are on the inside, but I don't think that's a huge deal. So it comes with three bulbs from Lowell. These are 5,500K, so daylight balanced. Those are pretty big. I might, if I had to guess, I would say those are probably 40 to 50 watt. So maybe even bigger than that, maybe 60 watt. So you could also replace these with your own bulbs, but these are these should be pretty good. They're they say they're high high CRI, but Let's put them in and just uh, take a look at the colors that come out. Now here we have the fluorescent bulbs uh, illuminating. I have obviously had to change the white balance. To, um, these are daylight balance as opposed to a tungsten balance, which is going to be 2700 to maybe 3300K, depending on the tungsten bulb. So 5500K for these. There are three bulbs, as we saw before, and the light output is about the same for these three. And they're, they're about approximately 65 watt bulbs. Uh, compared to the tungsten bulb, so 750 watt bulb. So again, I'm shooting at ISO 160 with a, an aperture of f4 and a 1 50th of a, shutter, of a second shutter speed. So I've got this light or the softbox probably about three and a half or four feet from me over here to my right, uh, camera left. And then I've also got uh, a separate set of those uh, clamp lights back here with fluorescent bulbs in them, the Blue Max bulbs to just act as a little bit of a rim. So this is what this looks like. Overall, pretty good. So will I end up with this kit? I don't know. I really like it so far. I love the tungsten and CFL dual capability. I like the light that it produces, especially in the tungsten with the tungsten bulb. There are some issues. I did trip the circuit. I did actually trip the circuit. I tripped the power strip that I have here. So it may just be a faulty power strip a couple times while I was filming. So we'll have to work on that. I'm going to swap it out and see if, if that's the issue or if it's just too much for the, for the circuits that I have in my unfinished basement down here. But in any case, I like it a lot. I'll probably end up with it. I'd like to do a little bit more research. But um, again, if you're looking for something, if you're ready to step up to a pro quality kit, 
because you're doing enough work that it, that it warrants it, I think this is a really good kit. If you have any questions or ideas or input on better systems for, or other systems for interview and talking head style video, go ahead and leave those down below for us. Thanks for checking out the episode. If you haven't subscribed already, make sure you do that and we'll get you more great videos on how to improve your lighting and sound for video. Talk with you soon.